When we try experimenting with a cloud provider, it is necessary for us to have an account. And most of the time, we exhaust the free tier and it is very difficult for us to experiment something. I recently found out something called as local stack, using which you can create a local AWS environment. Initially, it sounded a bit crazy, but then when I tried using local stack, I realized how useful it is for developers when we want to experiment and create a sandbox environment without having to get connected to the internet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use local stack by running it as a Docker container. And we are going to create a local AWS environment without connecting to the AWS console. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primus. So you can access local stack by going to localstack.cloud. This is their website. Local stack is an open source product which is available as a Docker image. You can use local stack by running inside a Docker container and you can create a local AWS cloud stack. So the prerequisites for local stack is the Docker container. So I have Docker desktop running in my laptop right now. I'll be leveraging the same Docker container to run my local stack. So in order to run local stack, you can go to the GitHub repository of local stack and they have a YAML file called docker compose.yaml. So this is the docker compose YAML file, which is going to bring the Docker container up with some default properties. So what you can do is you can copy this whole YAML file into your local. So I already have copied this into my local. Let's go to that particular directory. I have already copied this into my local stack. So this is the file and I have already modified some lines. So I'll tell you what I have modified. There is a field called services. This services field tells you what are the different services you want to enable. So right now local stack supports these different services. For example, if you want to try API gateway locally, you can use local stack, Kinesis, DynamoDB, Elasticsearch, S3, Lambdas, SNS, SQS. Most of the services which are crucial for us to test can be used inside a local stack. For the sake of this particular demo, I'll show you uh, S3 usage, but I will mention API Gateway and EC2 here just to see what happens. I'm enabling the debug uh, flag as one so that we can see what's happening. Also the data flag I have overridden to have a temporary path. That's it. So these are three different changes which I have done to my YAML file. So let me close this particular file. And in order to bring up the local stack, we have to run the Docker Compose. So generally you can run docker compose up, but for this particular local stack, I need to set some environment variable. So I need to define a temporary directory where the local stack can dump in some data into. So I need to have an environment called temporary directory created. I'm just pointing it to the private folder and then I'm running the docker compose up. So this is going to bring a docker container with the image which we have defined. And it is also enabling the services for S3 API gateway and EC2. See that already it has uh, said that starting local dev environment and it has already started. And it has already started mock S3, mock API gateway, EC2. So S3 is running on 4572 port. So if you need to access these services, you can directly hit these ports. So for example, let's go to S3. If I go to localhost 54573, it shows that there is a bucket called test bucket. So this is a test bucket which I created some time back. Now let's try creating or let's try exploring it from the shell. Let me open a new tab. So I'll go to the local stack as well. Now in order to connect to the local stack environment, you will have to do an AWS configure. So when we do an AWS configure, you can definitely give some default values like temp, temp. I'm just giving temp and temp, nothing else. I'm just giving the default value as JSON. That's it. So you don't have to authenticate with the AWS environment. You can be offline. You don't have to connect to the internet at all. Now, in order to run any services inside the local stack, we can directly use the AWS CLI. So I'm trying to connect to the S3 bucket and then see what are the different buckets. So in order to do that, I need to do this AWS hyphen hyphen endpoint and I need to define the local host 4572 because my S3 is starting in the port 4572. So I'm going to do a 
endpoint URL HTTP localhost 4572 and then I'm saying that connect to the S3 servers and list all the buckets which are present here and it shows that there is a test bucket in it now if I want to create a new bucket I'll just run the command um, mb make bucket and I'll call this as tech primers bucket so looks like I gave the syntax as wrong. Let me correct it. I'll just say s3 colon double slash. So this is going to create a new bucket. Now if I, in order to see the bucket, let's do a ls. See that there are two buckets. Now if I go to the URL, which was showing us the buckets, I can see that there is a bucket here. Now if I want to copy a file into this particular bucket, I can do that. So I'll just say AWS s3. I mean, it's the same endpoint. And instead of the ls, I'm going to say copy copy my local docker compose file into the s3 bucket s3 colon tech primers hyphen bucket so this is going to copy my i'll just say docker.yaml this is going to copy my local file which is present inside my directory into the s3 bucket so let's see what happens see that the upload got completed it literally copied my docker compose file so let's refresh this page and now let's go to the bucket called tech primers hyphen bucket this should show what is present inside the bucket see that there is a file called docker.yaml and we can see that it is encrypted storage class is standard and things like that so if you look at it this is a local environment and i'm not even connected to amazon I can literally try similar experiments with different services which are available right if you are using let's say a DynamoDB you can create a local instance of DynamoDB in the local stack which is the docker container here and you will be able to connect to the DynamoDB locally and you don't have to connect to the Amazon web services so local stack is pretty useful when you are trying to do development tasks when you want to leverage some of these services from your code base and you don't want to spend money by leveraging the amazon's services even though you are doing some experimental tasks do check out local stack and then see how you can leverage this and make yourself productive i found it very productive because if you want to learn amazon and you don't want to spend any money on hosting your services or testing your services then definitely local stack is is one way of using amazon web services i hope you found this particular video interesting do check out local stack for your learning purpose definitely it is not for production purpose you can use local stack for testing some of the services because all the features of amazon might not be available in the local stack as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much